Hey, hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to the 30 Day Wedding Photography Crash Course Series. I'm Josiah Blizzard. If you haven't caught up on all the other videos, I believe this is the last video in the series. I want to thank you guys who have who've watched all of the videos so far. Thank you for joining me on this last 30 day journey. If you haven't watched any of the videos, head back to the beginning of this playlist and watch the watch the video. I think uh, they'll they'll be really helpful for you as you're growing your business. Today, I want to talk about the added bonus. This is something that we do as a little extra surprise. Going the extra mile essentially is what I'm talking about here. So really brief, we go the extra mile in a few ways. In another video, we talked about our workflow. You can head back there and find out uh, our workflow. And I've mentioned some of the ways we do go an extra mile um, to, to make our client's experience that much better. But off the top of my head, the last things that we're doing is we want to surprise them with some kind of gift. That might be a canvas. That might be a f uh, free upgrade for an album. That might be some sort of product in some way. A lot of the times it's a, it's a canvas. That's what it is the majority of the time. We send them like a 16 by 24 canvas um, and we decide the image based on sometimes it's just our favorite image based on what we think would look like what, what would look great on a wall. That's that's kind of how we decide it. Sometimes it's we see the bride on Facebook make her profile picture. Sometimes it's the first image she's sharing on uh, on Instagram, something along those lines. That's how we decide. That's how we decide that image. We order those canvases from cgproprints.com. I'll link that below for you guys to check out. They're great little site. Um, and their canvases are reasonable, especially for gifts. We do also order canvases from WHCC. Those are very expensive canvases though. So for our gifts, we're going on the cheaper route, but the quality is still insane. This is These are canvases that we order for ourselves, for our parents, and that we're using uh, you know, for ourselves. So we trust in the product enough to order it for our own personal use. So that's how we go the extra mile after the wedding. We send them a free canvas gift surprise. Around Christmas, we'll send them a... Uh, a little a little package that has a blanket in there and uh, a little card that will uh, will say Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a great time celebrating with friends and family as your first Christmas as a married couple. Steph will oftentimes create a custom ornament for them too that says Mr. and Mrs. or something like that. We'll do a, a personalized note and a personalized gift in there. Um, and we get our blankets. We found a bunch at Target on Black Friday for like 10 bucks a blanket. So we're spending a legitimate amount of money. Sometimes it's coming to 300 bucks for everybody. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more. This past year we did Amazon and each blanket I think came to like $19 or something, but it's worth it in the long run if we can book one or two weddings from our clients raving about us because we sent them a blanket on Christmas and we book a $5,000, $6,000 wedding package because of a blanket, totally worth it. So those are two ways. And the last way is by sending an anniversary gift a full year later. We're staying top of mind with our clients even a full year after their wedding by sending them an anniversary gift set. Um, we were sending them from a site called Lolly and Pops that has since shut down, which I'm very sad about because they were a great little site to, to send these gifts from. Um, I think we're using Sugarfina right now. I'm not sure Steph is in charge of that, but there's a ton of different like gift sites where you can send some uh, anniversary chocolates or we were sending some champagne gummy bears. I think now we're sending champagne glasses uh, that say Mr. and Mrs. Autumn or something like that. And uh, there's some some uh, champagne gummy bears and some uh, candy in there and some chocolates and stuff like that. So it's just a nice little touch that we uh, that we add on at the end of our experience. We're done shooting the wedding. We're done with albums. All we're doing now is spoiling our clients a little bit more there's really nothing else to it. We're just spoiling them because we want to to stay top of mind and we want to make them feel loved even after they're done their experience with us. So, so that's how we're going the extra mile. Seriously, thank you for watching all of these videos. Uh, it was a lot of work to put all of these videos together, but I love sharing this information. It's helped me grow my business, learning from other photographers in the industry, and it just gives me so much joy to be able to share a lot of this information back with you guys. I hope uh, this information has been helpful. Uh, I want to connect with you guys. So please comment below. What was your biggest takeaway from this video and from the series as a whole? Uh, please email me at hello at josiahandsteph.com. I'd love to chat with you guys, answer any questions. You can find me on Instagram as well if you want to connect with me there. I am running a Patreon at this point. So if you want more exclusive uh, photography education around weddings. Maybe we can get people enough people to sign up for a live Q and A once a month, and I can answer your questions live on Patreon. Um, and you're gonna get some 
contract templates, email templates, uh, posing instructions, a prompt every month, things like that. And we can brainstorm and come up with some new things that we can give you guys. I want to help you guys grow your business. So please support me over on Patreon. It would mean the world to me. Uh, other than that, Thank you for your support already. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Again, that'd mean the world to me. Uh, and maybe share with a friend who might want to hear uh, about my channel and hear about some wedding photography information and tips and tricks and that sort of thing. So share with a friend who might find this content valuable. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.